Many consider the F-22 Raptor to be the most advanced fighter jet ever created and the embodiment of air superiority. However, the F-22 faced a significant software issue during its first overseas flight. In February 2007, 12 F-22, Raptors from the 27th Fighter Squadron were flying from Hickam Air Force Base in Hawaii to Kadena Air Base in Okinawa, Japan. This marked the aircraft's first international deployment. During the flight, some F-22s experienced software problems. The error affected the aircraft's navigation system when crossing the international date line. Under clear skies, the Raptors returned to Hawaii for repairs, delaying the journey by two days. In 2012, the US Air Force held a summit in Ohio to address one of the most critical issues plaguing F-22 pilots, dizziness caused by oxygen deprivation. The symptoms are often associated with hypoxia, a condition where the brain receives insufficient oxygen. Pilots in such conditions face significant risks as hypoxia can lead to poor judgment and tactical decisions. One tragic example was a fatal crash in Alaska in 2011. Before 2012, 25 aviators had reported signs of hypoxia and oxygen deprivation. Both the Navy and Air Force suggested that some aircraft experienced uncontrolled increases in cabin pressure, which affected pilots' breathing. Currently, the US Air Force, USAF, is developing a sixth-generation fighter jet to replace the F-22 Raptor. It is expected to enter service in the 2030s. As of 2024, the project is known as Penetrating Counter Air, PCA, and aims to maintain America's air superiority. The new jet will feature a more efficient engine to increase range. It may also eliminate vertical tail fins to improve stealth capabilities. According to estimates by the Nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office, CBO, the PCA could cost up to $300 million per unit. There were planned variants and derivatives of the F-22 Raptor that were never realized. For example, the F-22B was designed as a two-seater. It was canceled in 1996 to save on development costs. Another version was a naval F-22, the US Navy's advanced tactical fighter, NATF program aimed to replace the F-14 with an F-22 featuring variable sweep wings. However, the program was ultimately terminated in 1993. Regarding derivatives, the FB-22 and X-44 Manta were proposed. The FB-22 was envisioned as a medium-range supersonic stealth bomber, while the X-44 incorporated thrust vectoring technology. It appears the FB-22 was cancelled in 2006, and the X-44 Manta program ended in 2000. Despite the F-22 Raptor's ability to carry a wide array of weapons, the variety of compatible weaponry is limited. The size and type of weapons used must fit precisely. As a result, the F-22 is restricted to carrying M9 Sidewinder short-range missiles, M120 Amaram medium-range missiles for air-to-air -air combat, and JDAM bombs for air-to-ground engagements. Unlike the F-15 and F-16, the F-22 Raptor stores its weapons internally. It carries all armaments inside its fuselage, which features three bays. The main bay can hold six AM120 Amram missiles, or two JDAM bombs for ground attacks. Two additional bays can each carry one AIM-9 Sidewinder missile. Additionally, the F-22 is equipped with a 20mm M61, a two-multi-barrel cannon hidden behind a stealth door. The internal configuration 
is designed to reduce radar visibility, but if stealth is not required, the F-22 is fully capable of carrying weapons and fuel tanks externally on its wings. The F-22 often accompanies the F-35, which is optimized for air-to-ground missions, while the F-22 is designed for deep penetration and air-to-air -air combat. The F-22's first flight occurred in 1997, and it entered service as the F-22A in 2005. Since its induction, the F-22 has been recognized as a critical component of air combat capabilities, maintaining dominance in the skies. Notably, the F-22 development team was awarded the prestigious Collier Trophy in 2006, one of the most esteemed honors in American aviation. The F-22 Raptor is powered by two Pratt and Whitney F-119 PW 100 turbofan engines, each producing 35,000 pounds of thrust. For comparison, the engines on the F-15 generate only 25,000 to 29,000 pounds of thrust. These engines, combined with the F-22's design, enable the Raptor to fly at supersonic speeds while using less fuel. The Raptor has a supercruise capability, meaning it can achieve and sustain supersonic speeds without relying on afterburners, which most aircraft require to reach such speeds. Unlike most aircraft, where the engine nozzles point straight back, the F-22 Raptor is equipped with thrust vectoring nozzles that can move up and down by 20 degrees. The exhaust from these nozzles helps push the nose of the aircraft up or down, increasing its roll rate by 50%. Since thrust vectoring is integrated into the F-22's flight control system, it operates automatically. The nozzles adjust in the correct direction when the pilot maneuvers the aircraft, working in tandem with the elevators, rudder, and ailerons. This results in significantly higher agility compared to other fighter jets. According to the US Air Force website, the unit cost of an F-22 Raptor is approximately $143 million. This does not include research and development expenses, which bring the total cost per unit to $334 million. Furthermore, when factoring in life cycle costs, including fuel, spare parts, and maintenance, the Government Accountability Office, GAO, estimates that the total cost per F-22 is an astounding $678 million. Producing the F-22 Raptor is not only expensive, but also costly to operate. Time magazine reported in 2013 that the F-22A costs $68,362 per flight hour. This hefty price includes ownership expenses such as aircraft modifications. For example, in 2014, the F-22 fleet required about 40 hours of maintenance for every flight hour. The F-22A was initially designed for 8,000 flight hours, but after years of service, the US Air Force, USAF, believes that unmodified aircraft could reach 12,000 flight hours. With upgrades, the F-22 might even achieve 15,000 flight hours. For comparison, the airframe lifespan of aircraft like the F-4 Phantom II is just 3,500 hours. According to the national interest, the USAF estimates that the current F-22s will remain combat capable until 2060. The F-22 Raptor is equipped with advanced electronics and instruments designed to detect and counter enemy threats. In most other aircraft, these systems are typically separated within the cockpit. However, in the F-22, the system was developed to allow a single crew member to manage capabilities that traditionally required two operators in aircraft, like the F-15 Strike Eagle. The onboard avionics of the F-22 are the first of their kind to integrate electronic warfare systems, radar, and weapons control 
into a unified flight system. The F-22 is equipped with the ANAPG-77 radar to enhance its stealth capabilities. This radar is a critical component of the F-22 Raptor's low observability, designed for both strike missions and air superiority. It incorporates features such as all-weather functionality, active aperture, and an active electronically scanned array, AESA, with 2,000 transmit-receive modules. AESA operates on a fast frequency, making it difficult for adversaries to detect the aircraft. It also has a low radar cross-section and excellent target detection capabilities. The ANAPG-77 provides pilots with extensive situational awareness, often before the F-22 itself is detected. Additionally, the radar can securely transmit voice and data information while disrupting enemy electronic systems. The AN-ALR-94 system was specifically designed to protect the F-22 from threats. It combines offensive and defensive electronic warfare capabilities, including radar warning, targeting support, and self-defense. The AN-ALR-94 system determines enemy locations by detecting their radar emissions from considerable distances. This long-range detection limits the F-22's own radar emissions, minimizing its chances of revealing its position. The data collected by the system enhances the pilot's situational awareness and enables rapid responses to potential threats. In addition to its stealth, the F-22 Raptor includes countermeasures for situations where it is detected by an adversary. The aircraft is equipped with a missile launch detector and a radar warning receiver. If an enemy uses radar-guided or heat-seeking missiles, the F-22 deploys flares to counter heat-seeking guidance. These flares confuse infrared sensors by mimicking the heat signature of the aircraft. Additionally, the F-22 releases chaff, small fragments of reflective material that disrupt radar-guided missile tracking systems by scattering radar waves. The F-22 Raptor features a large twin-tail vertical stabilizer. Unlike other fighters like the F-15, its twin-tail assembly is angled to align with the aircraft's shape, helping deflect radar signals. The vertical fins also conceal internal antennas to further reduce radar signature. Meanwhile, the horizontal stabilizers at the rear of the aircraft are designed to minimize detection from heat and infrared emissions. They shield the heat from the engine exhaust, reducing the aircraft's infrared signature. This is excellent news for Lockheed Martin, as their task was to create a fighter jet with capabilities never seen before. No other aircraft combines the same level of stealth, speed, maneuverability, weaponry, and avionics as the Raptor. Lockheed Martin designed the F-22 Raptor exclusively for U.S. use. The Obey Amendment to the 1998 Department of Defense Appropriations Act prohibits the sale of the F-22 to foreign governments. Unlike the F-22, aircraft like the F-35 Lightning II were developed with international sales in mind, allowing U.S. allies to purchase them and helping reduce costs. One of the main reasons for banning the export of the F-22 was concern over potential technology leaks into the wrong hands. Thank you for reading to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and see you next time.